Thank you very much, guys. And it's quite interesting how you guys ended there. If OG would have played it better, it would have gone better. What we heard here was they got away with murder. Or that was what you guys said about this game. Yeah, I, I think uh, Origin individually make a ton of mistakes in this game. Bot lane, you know, this 2v2s we saw where Source goes down. He didn't, right after, start to clearing out a pink ward next to a wall with zero vision in, in the river, gets ganked again and dies. Zven got hit by two bindings in mid yeah. lane and dies. Like, I felt like the composition from Elements was super risky because they would lose the split push 1v1 and also they had no engage at all in the mid 4v4, so they relied on like landing the random binding from Ica, but they managed to do it. Yeah. And that's why they got a lead in the mid game, which honestly should never have happened. The weirdest thing was this to me is one of the first games we've seen Origin this split work without Niels, or Sven, sorry. And it wasn't because they formed a comp around anything else. It was that he kept dying in fights, like, again and again and again. And, like, and it just made it so difficult. And Elements got this really good lead before Origin were ready to fight. Origin had a very definitive point where it's like, oh, well, we've got a poke mid laner that needs to get his tier. We've got a, a poke bottom lane that needs to get to his two items or his uh, sort boots as well. Like, Elements should have been able to carry that lead a little bit harder, but the problem is they just ended up doing nothing in mid lane. They were just sat there waiting, Paraville would throw it, and all, it didn't really do too much. That was at the end, though. Let's yeah. first take a look at one of the team fights, Pulse, which, in which it was still going really good for Elements, and as you yeah. say, Origin getting caught out. Yeah, this is time and time again, Sven not being in the right position. You'll see him flash here, and he just expects his front line to block it. Oh, actually just hit Sven. And then from here, he just can't run away. And Sven, Stress, you were talking about the fact yeah. that Sven should be this backbone, and he's and just not here. Not only that, but with this composition, like Sven should never be in a situation where you have a Poppy coming towards you like that. There should be enough disengage there to stop Poppy getting through the backline. Just miscommunication, amazing use is ultimate already. Mithy wasn't there to block. The binding went through the team fight, and Sven dies. Shouldn't happen, but it does. <laughs> However... The next replay we're going to show, there was some very good play from the members of Origin there. In specific, amazing on that Gragas is what you guys highlighted. And this effectively gets them back in the game and, and in the end will help winning, winning it as well. This is what you were so hyped for, Stress. <laughs> the, Gragas. In, the, the Gragas young. And well, it is this. super strong <laughs> in teamers. I think this is okay from Origin. They're trying to catch up Gilius very quickly. They blow Janna ulti and Gilius is technically out of the fight by now. So despite Sven and Power Weaver getting zoned out, Sven again ends up dying. It is now an option for Origin to have Fiora come in, and Fiora has hit her late game when nobody likes her, oh, and she's going to be so slam. strong. And then also the Alistar Gragas combo in teamfights is going to be super, super powerful. Man, that body slam right there with the follow up to kill the target to proc the heal may very well have been the tipping point that Origin were just like, this game is ours now. Because from there, it seemed like elements reverted back. They didn't want to try and fight. They didn't want to try and catch. But you couldn't. I mean, and that's Morgana's what I mean. as you engage. Exactly. Because they, they drafted a comp that against this disengage is so difficult to try and get any kind of engage off possible. And they couldn't control Soaz in the end of it either. That was just the weirdest thing. I mean, sure, it was the turning point, but is that still a win? Because it was all on that team fight. In the early game, they lost, the composition fell apart, and they won because of that a Manchester Snowball from that Baron and had a great Baron play, but I don't know if it was still a win. I mean, a win is a win. A win in is the a end. win. On the scoreboard, yes. Obviously, and I dare forwards. even say for Elements, obviously, this is one of those games where they could have gotten the upper hand in the head-to-head -head going into that sixth place, possibly, and they kind of threw it away or it was taken away from them. What do we take from it for the side of Origin? Uh, I think uh, it fits the standings yep. in the sense that the top six teams, yes, sometimes they make mistakes, but then they can consistently make plays to get them back in the game, and the bottom four teams struggle to close out games, and that's why we have a situation like this where elements technically were doing well, but then end up having some misplaced or a wrong team fight and lose. Yep, and OG getting the upper hand in that one. We're one game in, but there are more must-win matches ahead with Rockout versus Splice coming your way in just a few minutes. We'll see you back here.